Next up in our ACC preview is one very special to my heart as an alum, as an alum of this school, Don, the Syracuse Orange, who we're doing right now. Brand new head coach in Fran Brown. They hired from Georgia, uh, ace recruiter. Uh, he is a defensive backs coach coming in from uh, Georgia as well. And Syracuse last year, Don, made their second straight bowl game, but still finished with only a 6-7 and seven record overall. It was their fourth losing season in the last five years, which led them to fire Dino Babers after eight years on the job. Uh, and Fran Brown, like I said, came in. Really good recruiter, and that showed immediately. In fact, all in Syracuse brought in a top 40 recruiting class. That's the first time they've done that since 2001. Over 20 years since Syracuse has had a recruiting class that good. And not only recruiting in high school, they brought in a really good transfer class as well, headlined by Kyle McCord, the former Ohio State quarterback we'll talk about in just a second. But now, of course, Fran Brown must prove that he's more than a great recruiter and he can actually be a really good coach despite not being a coordinator at Georgia or a head coach ever in his uh, previous stint. But what is the biggest strength, Dolan, of my Syracuse Orange right now? Well, honestly, their defense was pretty good last year and carried them most of the way, Max, as they dealt with some injuries, especially at quarterback. And he's going to really like this group they have in the secondary. When you talk about Justin Barron and Elijah Clark both coming back at safety, guys like Jaden Bellamy and Greg Delane coming back at corner, this is a really experienced secondary and one that was really, really good darn near a top 30 unit in the country last season. So you talk about just trying to keep yourself in games while you're trying to figure out your offensive situation and get back from some injuries and you have a new quarterback and everything like that. As long as everything's in front of you, you don't have to score 40, 45 points a night. With this secondary, they shouldn't have to do that. Not only that, Dolan, Deuce Chestnut coming back to Syracuse as well after transferring to LSU. Uh, didn't really play much at LSU, only played in four games. But the years before, while he was at Syracuse, he had an 81.4 grade across 2021 and 2022, which was fourth among ACC corners. You get him back from uh, LSU after a one-year stint there. The biggest weakness, Dolan, we'll talk about this in just a second with Kyle McCord and his breakdown. Can he survive behind this offensive line? They do return four starters from last year's offensive line, but none of them earned a 60 PFF grade last year. And as a unit, they were the 110th highest graded offensive line in the country. That could be a big issue, Dolan, considering how Kyle McCord is under pressure, his lack of mobility as well. I'm a little bit worried about McCord. I think he's a great quarterback for Syracuse, but I'm a little bit worried about his fit on this offense because of that offensive line. For sure, and he doesn't necessarily have to be the best quarterback in the conference, but he maybe more than any other quarterback in the country is reliant on his pass protection in front of him. Last year, he's a top 20 passer in the Power Five when he was in a clean pocket, and he was one of the 10 worst when he was under pressure. So it's really, like you mentioned, true strong-armed pocket quarterback that isn't going anywhere. He is not moving off of his spot. He's either going to make his throw or he's going to take a sack, right? That's pretty much where we're at with McCord. And again, he's better than most people think he is. The perception is that, you know, oh, he was the one singular thing that held back Ohio State last year, but he only lost one game, and that was to the best defense of the country and the national champions. And honestly, didn't play that bad in that game and had him about 35, 40 yards from winning it. Who knows where it might go from there. So, look, McCord's a really good guy for Syracuse to get. Cuse hasn't had a 3,000-yard passer since 2012. Ooh. Max. So the standard, the standard isn't all that high. It's been since the days of Ryan Nassib. All right. So look, they have to keep McCord clean and he can make the throws to these weapons and he should be supported by a good running game as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Quentin Allen's a really good running back, but one of the weapons they're bringing back from injury is Aronda Gadsden, who actually, Dolan, in EA Comptable 25, is the second highest rated tight end in the game. Now, I don't know if either of us will agree with that, even me as a Syracuse alum, but uh, he's a really good player, man. Kind of a hybrid between a wide receiver and a tight end. He's listed by Syracuse as a tight end, but I'm pretty sure that's because his numbers look a lot better when you list him as a tight end than as a wide receiver. But he actually played uh, 273 career snaps out wide as a receiver, only 85 career snaps in line as a tight end. So, um, And mostly he's a slot receiver for Syracuse as well. Played 553 snaps in his career in the slot. Played only two games last year before su suffering a season-ending LeFranc injury. But over the last two years, even because, even with that, he has 1,033 receiving yards since over the last two years, which is third among returning tight ends in the country. So even though he's only played two games this past season, he's still been incredibly productive for Syracuse over the last two years. 2.35 yards per route run over the last two years. The only ones with more, Dawn, are Brock Bowers, Michael Mayer, and Dalton Kincaid, man. All three of those guys are 
could be star tight ends, right, in the NFL. So uh, I'm really excited to see what he can do with Kyle McCord now. Uh, and I think that this is probably the best quarterback he's ever had in his career. Gaston could put up big numbers next year. Absolutely, and he's going to be on NFL scouts' radar. And one guy on their defense that's going to be on the NFL scouts' radar as well is their their top safety, Justin Barron, the highest-graded safety in the ACC last year, and one of just eight with 75-plus grades in run D, coverage, and pass rush. 6'4", 225-pound Swiss Army knife that can just do everything on the field. He's the captain of their defense. He's their best player on defense, and he's the glue that holds this secondary together. Justin Barron, especially at that size, moving the way he does, he's going to be on a lot of scouts' radar heading into the 2025 draft. He absolutely will, man. So with all this influx of talent, Dalton, what are we expecting for the Orange this upcoming season in their first year under Fran Brown? They will be, for me at least, they will be as good as their offensive line. Um, If this offensive line craters or they struggle in Brown's first year, then McCord is just not going to have the success that that he could, right? And we saw it last year. We saw throughout the year last year, even in Ohio State's wins, you get pressure on him and he really doesn't have much of an answer. But with a relatively easy schedule, although I think there's a sneaky kind of upset game that could brew when they go to UNLV, you know, for as much, but you can't take any of these games for granted, right? And especially if you do have a subpar offensive line, you can't take it for granted, but you've got McCord, you've got LaKeith Allen, who we haven't mentioned yet at running back. You've got Gadsden, you've got a good defense. This is a talented team. This is a talented enough team to make a bowl game if they block well enough. And honestly, with McCord as their quarterback, it's the biggest X factor for them. So, Don, I would give my bottom line for this team right now. But, in fact, I'm going to bring in my brother, rising sophomore at Syracuse University, for his bottom line instead. So, welcome on to the show for the first time is Ben Chadwick. How's it going, folks? I'm happy to be here. Uh, I can't wait to give my input. Dalton, it's a pleasure to be on the show with you. And uh, I'm just really excited, guys. What do you think, Dalton? Are we, are we talking about, like, a playoff team this year, ACC contender? What do we think for the Orange this year? Well, Dalton, I think you saying – this team can make a bowl game is honestly pretty disappointing. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. It's a seven and a half win total yeah. for the team. I think at the very least, I'm expecting eight wins. If you look at their schedule, I mean, they're two minimum, hardest games. Minimum Thank eight, Dolan. Minimum. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think their two hardest games are at NC State and home against Miami at the end of the season. So the ceiling, honestly, is 10 and two. Dare I say 11 and one, Dolan. Mm. 12 and 0, maybe even two. 13 0, maybe. Uh, no, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I, I want there's to there's no, there's I'm zero bias team. here on your end at all. There's zero bias in that studio no, right now. No, no, there's no bias. There's no bias. No, 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 no bias whatsoever. Look, honestly, if they, if they find, if they PC, if they find this offensive line, then I'm with you. But when that's your biggest question, I always worry. But no. zero bias in that studio right now. The offensive line is worrying, I will be honest. But. As you guys were talking about Kyle McCord, arguably one of the best quarterbacks Syracuse has had in a very long time, mm-hmm. was top two in all in like every major passing category in the Big Ten, touchdowns, uh, yardage, completions, all that. He was top two in the entire Big Ten. This is the ACC. It's a lot worse conference, a lot worse opponents. You mm-hmm. look at their schedule, who we talked about before. So bowl game is bare, bare minimum, and a good bowl game at that. 10-2, and 11-1 possibly. I mean, this is a playoff team at the, at the highest of the highest, guys. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> You heard it for your first, man. Syracuse playoff. I'm all in. I'm in with Ben. I, I think the big problem with the Dino Babers era was talent acquisition. He didn't recruit well. Fran Brown's recruiting well right now. Now, of course, the coaching is the question mark, but I'm with Ben. I think uh, at minimum, this should be a Final Four team in college football next year. Minimum, if not national championship contender. So that's what we got for our preview of the Syracuse Orange. Hey, thanks for watching the PFF College Football Show. Before I let you go, though, we have an unbelievable deal for you guys right now. If you use the code CFB25, you get 25% off your PFF Plus annual subscription. We've got the 2024 College Football Preview Guide that you can find over at PFF.com featuring the best players in the country from all 70 Power 5 teams plus 10 Group of 5 teams that have the best chance at making the College Football Playoff as well. You can also gain access to NCAA premium stats for historical games, uh, teams, and player tracking dating all the way back to 2014, so the last decade or so of college football. All the stats you can hope for, you can find in PFF Premium as well. Also, 
You can be the GM of your favorite NFL team with our unbelievable mock draft simulator where you can draft up to seven rounds of players for your NFL team. And if you want to dominate your fantasy league, you could do that as well using the best fantasy tools on the planet. All of that and more with your PFF Plus annual subscription, which you can find for 25% off right now with the code you can find in the description. Or if you want to go to subscribe.pff.com and use the code CFB25 at checkout. Again, you get 25% off your PFF Plus subscription. This won't last forever, so make sure you take advantage of it right now.